German troops and Soviet Union destroying the railroad during an organized retreat. The Schienenwolf, Railwolf, sometimes also referred to as a Schwellenflug Sleeperplow, was a German rail vehicle built to destroy rail lines through the use of an immensely strong, hook-shaped armored plow. The German railroad plows were produced by Krupp factory in 1942. The platform on which was mounted a giant hook that spearheaded went under the sleepers, hauled by two locomotives to work for him at the speed of 7 to 10 km per hour. The hook was lowered into the middle of the track resulting in pulling the rails out of alignment, tearing up the middle of the track, and breaking the sleepers. This destroyer required to bring into position only 6 to 8 minutes, served by a team of 10 people. Railway tracks were completely destroyed, sleepers by 100%, the rails at 70 to 93% and bonding of up to 30%. Used in Hitler's scorched earth policy of total destruction, especially during the collapse of the Third Reich, the Schienenwolf tore up bridges and signaling equipment as well, denying the enemy the use of the seriously damaged railways into Germany. Here's a short video video of German forces destroying the railroads, it's interesting to see the immense force of the railroad plow. Soviet Union had a different gauge rail network and the Germans operated much heavier trains than the Russians, so when the Germans invaded they had to rebuild or modify the lines everywhere they went. Some of them were converted to standard gauge by moving the rails. The Germans replaced the Russian wooden sleepers with steel sleepers and clearly in the photograph the sleepers are wooden, so the rail track being destroyed must be a Soviet type but a converted one. German trains were heavier and required stronger supports, hence new steel sleepers.